Alright, so today is my wash day routine. This is what I do when I've worn my hair in a certain style for a couple of days, maybe three to four days, just depending on what, how I want to wear my hair. So step one, we are going to part our hair. Um, you're going to divide it off into sections. I tend to part it down the middle and then I part it um, six ways to make sure um, that it's easier for me to manage my hair when it comes to putting the conditioner and whatnot in. So I part down the middle like I said and then part each side into three sides which makes it six and then I clip and pin it back. All the products that I use in this video I will put um, on my blog and there will be a link to my blog down below. You should really check out my blog because I um, am start to am going to start to really start posting stuff on it. Not just when I post videos but um, little things during the week. At least try to upload at least two times during the week. But as you can see I am just parting my hair making sure they're kind of um, more so or less even. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so you can see I have a little bit of breakage there, but that is okay. Step two, I'm to, I'm going to spritz my hair with water. Um, that makes it easier for me to detangle and easier with it to work through instead of working on dry hair. I don't really like working on dry hair, but as you can see, I'm just detangling it. Um, that way I don't have to do this step after I get out the shower or I do it as much but I'm just detangling it um, the brush that I'm using I actually got from Ulta I didn't even know they sold them there and I saw one day and I was like I have to get that brush for my hair and so it's from Ulta but I'm sure you can find it um, at Sally's or at um, any local beauty supply store next I'm going to do my deep conditioner now this step a lot of people may do um, shampoo I like to use conditioner um, because I like my hair to be extra moisturized and I like cleansing my hair with moisturizer I'm sorry cleansing my hair with um, conditioner so you can use a deep conditioner or even like a cleansing conditioner I'm um, just you know what your what works on your hair better step five I'm two strand twisting my hair it's also going to make it easier for um, styling and depending on what style I'm going to do it could potentially be like my one step because I'm probably going to end up just doing a regular two strand twist but here you see me just detangling once again and I'm just going to do that until I get to the other side of my head So I'm all done with um, detangling and I two strand twisted my hair and applied all the conditioner. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit more conditioner and I am going to go ahead and put that all over my hair. Just making sure I didn't miss anything and to seal it in really, really well. And also going back and making sure my twists are actually staying intact. Alright, so now I'm just putting this plastic cap on my hair and I'm going to let this deep conditioner sit for about 20 minutes and just going to let it marinate into my hair. A shower and 30 minutes later, I am now out of the shower. Hair is washed nice and spongy. And now I'm going through, now this part you can take out it's basically just a deep conditioner that I use for my hair that um, is supposed to help me to tangle and make it easier to come through after I wash, but it didn't really make a difference. Um, I just wanted to try it, so I won't be buying this product. I actually have a, de a detangling spray that I use, um, so don't even worry about that. Basically, I'm just massaging that into my hair. Um, finger detangling it, getting out any extra little bumps and rips that I didn't get while I was, you know, using my brush on my comb with getting detangling out. And then I will two strand twist once again.
So I'm just going to do that. Ooh, excuse me, I'm so sleepy. I'm just going to do that on the remainder of my hair. Alright, so I've done, I went on my whole head, redid some of my two strand twists, made some of them smaller. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin them up. Um, this is so either if I'm going to get in the bed or if I'm going to run out of the house and people are going to come over, at least my hair would be pinned up. Now, if people are coming over, probably use bobby pins or use black pins. Um, but this is, I was just pinning it up to show you how I pinned it up. I don't know what I'm doing for my hair yet, so I figured I'd just keep it up in a pin until I figure out what I'm going to do for my hair. So that is what it looks like. It's actually kind of a cute style. You can put bobby pins on it and put a nice little hat or beret on it. So that is it for my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. All the products that I use will be on my blog and the link will be down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.